in the local chat. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I'm definitely gonna delete Hose Alazzle, guys. Do not play that deck ever. <laughs> um, so, Rapidash, if you're still here, please send me a challenge. Rapidash, I don't see you in the list of people online. Yeah. Um, so if Rapidash is not here, then Cricket, it's your turn to face off against Ludi Cargo. And I switched the thing uh, on time. Therefore, um, we're gonna get some really good hands. <laughs> Don't play Ho, guys. Don't play Ho. Oh. What type of deck what, Rafa? <laughs> oh, I'm playing Ludicargo. I guess I can show you guys the list. But, Cricket, if you are here... There we go. Okay, I'll show you guys the list later. Or we can take a look at it quickly. It's just Ludicargo, Lele's, um, a lot of Pokeballs, Judges, Lilies, etc. Yeah? So, we'll see how this goes. We shall see how this goes. Okay. Ludi car go. Oh my gosh, dead hand. <laughs> dead hand going second. And good luck to you too, Ian. Good luck, have fun. We might we might have to rematch if this hand doesn't get better with my top deck. Zork. Yeah, not playing Zork is wrong. Ooh, Brooklet is nice. Brooklet gets us another low tend. I mean it's not perfect, but What's a good dark deck, Major Gamer? Zork? <laughs> Zork is a good dark deck, I guess. Zork is definitely a good dark deck. Pokemon Fan Club turn one, I'm very jealous of that. Zork is probably the best dark deck and the best deck overall. Okay, so we're definitely gonna Brooklet. And then we are going to replace a Brooklet with a Shrine of Punishment. And oof. Okay, so triple low touch for us. What am I playing with Ludicolo? Just my cargo. Just my cargo. Nothing special. I wish I had a water to just surprise here, but not gonna happen. We see another rock rough. See a timer ball. Double tails, double tails, double tails. No. Okay, so now we need him to whiff the DCE. Now we need him to whiff the DCE. And there's a Cynthia. Never have I wished for a judge more than right now. <laughs> Uh, Lucas, how can be better when Blacephalon is released? Um, I don't know what Blacephalon does. Your water is a lowland Ninetales GX, Major Gamer, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I knew you guys would like the new... the new timer ball. Master Ball only works for subscribers, Buck McDougall. But Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball do work for everyone else. Yeah, but Master Ball only works for subscribers. I love the draw of it. Okay, so my opponent whiffs the KO here. 
Um, I mean, woo! <laughs> Surprise! Goodbye, choice band. Probably the least useful card in my opponent's hand. The least useful card in my opponent's hand. We need him to keep whiffing. And OG Grover, thanks so much for the follow. Lots of new followers, guys. I really appreciate it. Lots and lots of new followers. Uh, find the DC. <laughs> we might have to rematch if my hand keeps being bad. No Vulpix? Yeah, a low on Vulpix could be good here. A low on Vulpix could actually be very good here. Also, I'm not playing Fan Club or Apricorn Maker. Maybe I should be playing that. Yeah. Okay, so Ian, if you're watching, give me one second. Let's make a few changes to the list. Let's play 2 2. My cargo. Let's play a Vulpix. Yeah. Let's play one Alolan Vulpix. I don't think I have space for the Nine Tails. And then let's do one less Nest Ball. Wait, give me one second, Yen. Um, let's do one less, huh. Uh, Steward Green, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna play a rematch against Yen. I just need one second to modify the list. I guess one Cynthia for two Apricorn makers. Yeah. Uh, Apricorn, there we go, okay. Oh wait, what? I have an extra space? Uh, I guess a fourth Cynthia then. Okay. There you go. Thank you so much. Oh, Ria Hisama, you gave away a sub. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. So there we go. We're gonna have a rematch here. No need for Acerola. I, I actually really like Acerola with Ludicolo because you have so much HP. And like it allows you to trade really well against Zork. Yeah. Thank you so much, Riahisama, for the sub gift. Thank you so much. Okay, so hopefully this game goes better. Uh, first, <laughs> I guess. We lose the gun flip, but Ian very kindly will let us go first. And we start lately. Not great. Not the best here. Unless we can top the gun apricorn maker. This is not going to be too good. Okay, yeah. I mean, Lily only gets me two cards, three cards here. So whereas Cynthia reshuffles my hand, so I think I'm gonna go for the Cynthia. My opponent did start Lily as well, though. Jeez. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep the Ultra Wall as an Ultra Wall. It's gonna be a while, but I'll get there, right? A Leprechaun Maker for Double Load Dad, and an Ultra Wall for Ludicolo. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. And he gets a turn one Cynthia as well. So we're on even footing, right? We are definitely on even footing here. DCE though, that's not... <laughs> that's not great. Okay. I also have a DCE. I'm totally gonna go double nest ball. <laughs> Dylan, you got me. <laughs> that's pretty cool. You got me. 
Oh, I could grab bull pigs. That actually sounds very good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like this. I'll go ahead and touch this. Oh, if he has Lycanroc though, that's gonna be awful. If he has Lycanroc, that's just gonna be awful. And perfect, Poseidon. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's very kind of you. Have a nice day. Um, Luis, they're just for fun so that you guys have something to do in chat whilst you're watching the stream. Oh no, I should not have attached that DZE. Nope. Yeah. I'm gonna still load that. Bad idea, Paolo. Bad idea. I mean, it is just one load that though. The DC hurts, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, how's a flight Jimbo action and thank you for the for the w good wishes okay so we lose the load that uh, should not have attached the DC and I was debating on waiting but oh well oh well sees so let's do that let's do that let's do that I don't think I'm gonna use the aqua patch yet I'm gonna go ahead and Cynthia looking for more low tads beautiful this is now beautiful well not quite actually not quite uh if i click on maker could grab bird candy <laughs> that would be nice so i think i grab lumbre and macargo or no macargo and lele right no lele and lumbre lele and lumbre We'll see how this goes. Like, it's gonna take a while for us to set up. This is where maybe Dawnsparce could be decent as well. Dawnsparce doesn't get your Pokemon to your hand, though. Zorak number one. Zorak number two. Trade number one. Ooh, trades away a field board. That's good news. That is definitely good news for us. That is definitely good news. Gets rid of the enhanced hammer as well. That is also good news for Lele. Lele for Cynthia, I assume. Hello Frank, thank you so much for being here. Welcome back to the stream. Did you have a different username before? Wasn't it Frizzle Frank? Or is that your PTTGO name? Wait, what? 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 <laughs> oh boy. And we just lost one stretcher. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. That was actually so bad. Okay, so that's very nice. And we have to keep going, right? We have to keep going. The good thing is we're only losing one prize at a time. Our Lele is heavily damaged, which is not great. And we're pretty much guaranteed to lose the Vulpix here, which is also not great. 
which is also not great. And so, we shall Cynthia. Well, I guess I'm gonna Lily for six, because Cynthia is always a brand new six after. Whereas Lily can be like two or three. Oh, and I can do this as well. I can smooth over and control one of the cards I get. Maybe the Lombre? Or an energy. Now let's grab Lombre. Let's grab Lombre. <laughs> Very nice, Frank. <laughs> Okay, Timer Ball. Okay, Timer Ball gets us Ludicolo instead of the Lombre, which is nice. I thought I would put in Rare Candy at the top, but I feel like that was a bit greedy. So I'm gonna Swing Dance. I'm gonna Touch, and then I'm gonna Beacon. I'll grab the only two Pokemon left in my deck so far. Oh, the Shrine of Punishment hurts my two Leleys. That's so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. So we have to win before my Lele gets knocked out. At least we have a Thrill level. We lose the Voltex, that's fine. A lot of damage in between turns. Okay, at least we can finally attack though. Finally, three prizes down and we can finally attack. And can we get a KO? How much damage does Lily Call do for each other Pokemon play? So 70 plus 50, 120 plus 6, 180. Okay, so we do have Knockout here, which is nice. Oh. We do have knockout here, which is nice. So I'm gonna use. Oh, or am I? Do I Cynthia first? No attachment to a rock of is great. Why isn't Alolan Sandslash better than Ludicolo? Because Alolan Sandslash doesn't have circular steps, which deals 200 damage to Zorg. That would be why. Okay. So swing dance number one, we have the DCE, that's good. And then smooth over. What are we getting? Something for next turn. The rare candy? We have one Ludicolo. No, we have, wait, what? We have two Ludicolo sprites? How is that even fair? Okay, so I'll put the rare candy at the top. Because I'm, I have good chances to get um, a Ludicolo right now. Yeah. Wow. And then we shall circular steps. And Zora goes down in between turns thanks to Shrine of Punishment. Yeah, just a little more damage, right? <laughs> Okay, so we do get the Ludicolo, we can rare candy into that. We get the Judge as well, which could be good. And then basically, if he attaches energy to Lycanroc, we Guzma KO that. Okay, I, I'm actually relieved by that a little bit. He does have Sledgehammer. Oh, he does run the Diancy. Oh boy, that's bad news. That is really bad news that he does run the Diancy and the Baby Buzz. So he retreats, gets a KO. Then I think I KO'd Zorak, right? I mean, I'm two turns away from winning. Right? I took a KO, I take another KO, I take another KO. 180 is enough. No! Oh, okay, he ate her all as the Lele, that's fine. 
Uh, with a choice band, he can knock this guy though. Oh, jeez. 50, yeah. This damaged Lele is gonna be the issue. No choice bands used yet. Okay, we're definitely gonna go after this. So we have to smooth over for a DC here. Right? We have to smooth over for a DC. And then we're hitting for 180. 70, 50, yeah, 180, which is enough. Um, let's circular. No, oh, swing dance. You swing dance, then you get another swing dance. Maybe healing the Lele is better. That might be safer. That might actually be safer. Is healing the Lele better here? It means we will win in three turns, not two. That might actually be better. Because what does my opponent need? Kuzma, DC, Choice Band. Without Zork. Do we take the risk? Because otherwise he needs Choice Band, DC, Kuzma. It's one more card. Yeah, let's KO the Zork. Let's just try to win. Let's just try to win here. And we deny the... Oh no! He has one less Pokemon. He has one less Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Uh... No. No. <laughs> he has one less Pokemon. I did not account for that. I did not account for that. Text lender, viewer battles indeed. Viewer battles indeed. Oh no. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, I mean, it just means he has a Zork, right? Ah, no. Guzma. Choice band. Oh no! Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, I didn't take it at price. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's so sad. 10 damage off. That was very silly. I mean, I didn't have enough cards though. So I should have just KO'd the bus. Oh, I overthought that way too much. And I forgot about the... And I forgot about the thing. Oh well, GG, yeah, that was fun though, that was fun. Um, so, JM Bergman, if you are still here, if you are still here, please um, send me a challenge. Uh, Techlander, how do you get to challenge me? Um, so, all you need to do is, um, yeah, I have shrine, uh, Travis, I do have shrine. Um, I have two shrines, uh, actually. It's just, um, I needed DC and I needed the Shrine. So I needed those two cards. Um, although I did have the Aqua Patch, so I misplayed. I misplayed badly. I also had Choice Band. Yeah, I also had Choice Band. Which could have been good. Ooh, a Fire deck. I hope it's not Hose Alazzle. Oh no! <laughs> what is this hand? No! <laughs> what is this hand? Too many Lele's indeed, too many Lele's in play. Like if you can avoid playing Lele, that's ideal. Maybe you just don't play Lele. Oh, okay. Maybe you just don't play Lele. Uh, okay, I'll do water here and then we'll pass. Um, so how do you get to challenge me, Texlander? All you needed to do was say you wanted to challenge me and we could start battling. Um, like I would add you to the waiting list and I would add you to to a list so that when it was your turn we battled um, right now I think it's a bit uh, to let oh but you're a subscriber so if you still if you want to battle um, I can add you to the list and then after this game we get to battle yeah because you're a subscriber so you get to cut in line <laughs> it's 5 p.m. where you are Alchemix but it's 4 p.m. in Mexico City yeah. Wait, fire energy. 
fire energy, deoxys, and thorn wings. I have no idea what I'm up against. But let's trap the thorn wings. <laughs> I mean, my hand is not great, right? Okay, so make sure you add me to the. On PTCGO, there's my in game screen name. Make sure you add me. Okay, so it is whole. Kiawe. And Alchemix, you're not. You don't want to play anymore, okay? <laughs> 7 a.m. for you, they will need to. Where are you? Where is it 7 a.m.? Um, somewhere in Australia, somewhere in Asia, New Zealand, perhaps. Let me turn on the fan, guys. It's getting really hot here. Okay. Australia. Whoever. Whoever. Uh, suggested the Volpix. That's probably the, the MVP suggestion of the year. <laughs> and Travis, thanks so much for the follow. Um, let's do Guzma, this guy. And okay, we might, might be able to get going here. I think I definitely grabbed Lele and I think I grabbed Loda. So if my opponent has a Guzma himself, he just KOs either one, right? If I go Ludicolo Macargo here, then he just KOs the, the low dad. If I go um, Ludicolo on Lele, he still KOs the low dad. If he goes Macargo on Lele, maybe he KOs the Slugma. So because of that chance, I'm just gonna go grab for these two. Yeah? <laughs> Travis, you would be surprised by how many people do it that way. <laughs> And thank you so much, Hubs, for for saying you don't mind the. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Um, for saying you don't mind the ads. I'm sorry there are ads, guys, but I can't always control them. Oh wait, what? This has one retreat. What? How does the Oxys have one retreat? Cause that is so broken. <laughs> that is so broken. Oh, friendless limit reached? Okay, so after this game, I'll delete someone so you can send me a challenge, okay? But you are up next, Tech Slender. And welcome back, Dylan. Thank you so much for being here yet again. Oh boy, Phoenix burns my Vulpix. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine, guys. Jeez, I didn't realize. I thought this had two retreat costs. Like, it makes more sense for it to have two retreat costs then. Than one. Um, okay, so we're gonna Cynthia. Could have gone Apricorn Maker actually for a timer ball, but I or an Ultra Ball, but I didn't want to risk that. But I guess I risk not getting anything. Yeah. <laughs> Double heads. Who would have thought? Okay. Um, so with Silvali, my opponent resets, right? With Silvali, my opponent resets the whole hole. So I'm gonna smooth over for Ludicolo. <sighs> We're in a lot of trouble here though. If this Lumber goes down, we are absolutely done so. So I'm gonna gift him the Lele? Nah. Oh boy. Yeah, I didn't realize. I honestly hadn't realized this only had one retreat because I generally had not realized. Okay, please don't be Guzma. Please don't get Guzma. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, I, I don't know what determines when ads happen. Okay, no Guzma. Romeo, thanks so much for the follow. I think we're closing in on 4,000 followers on Twitch, right? I think we're closing in on 4,000 followers, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I think we're kinda safe. Kinda. We do need at least a replacement Lota next turn. But we get the Ludicolo, we smooth over for like a Cynthia. And then, will my opponent use ho oh or will he use Hill Valley here to turbo drive? Okay, 
chooses to use Zilvali, that gives him an extra attachment, probably to the Deoxys, maybe Lele. Okay, we need a lot though to KO here. We need so much. We need so much to KO that Zilvali here. Um, to thin? Or to have the follow up? Maybe. Smooth over. For Cynthia. This is so underwhelming. And I use up my smooth over and my swing dance. So we need, we need the perfect six cards. Which are not gonna happen. Yeah. Definitely we're not gonna happen. Two Pokemon. We needed two Pokemon, right? Yeah, 180 with a full with his full bench, my full bench, that's 180. Choice pen, that would have been KO. Um, yeah, this is bad. Because oh, I should not have benched. No, I, I needed to bench a load that. What am I talking about? I needed to bench a load that. So does he take a KO with Ho here? I assume so, right? I assume you KO with Ho here. Yeah. Jeez, my opponent's deck worked flawlessly and he doesn't even have like... Oh, he does have the 4 Kiawe, wow. <laughs> okay, never mind. He does in fact have the 4 Kiawe. Okay, so DC Choice Band gets the KO. DC Choice Band gets the KO. No. Oh, I did get it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, if I don't bench anything else, my Lele is actually safe. If I don't bench anything else, my Lele is actually safe here. Wow. And Bushia, I can't say the winning list. It's Text Lender, then Bushia, then Don't Trust Her. Wow. We get the knockout and our Lele is actually protected here. Wow, this might be a big turning point. This might generally be a big turning point. Wow, <laughs> my opponent is very surprised. Yeah, Deoxys. Hello, Romeo. Ludicolo does a swing dance, you draw a card, so with Macargo you smooth over, put a card at the top, and then with swing dance you draw it, and then circular steps, you deal 70 damage plus 10 more damage for each other Pokemon in play. So for mine and my opponent. Ooh. There's a Turtinator. There is a Turtinator. Energy on the Turtinator. Okay, so only hitting for 150, right? Wow. Unless I'm missing something. A field board, that's fine. I feel like we're going to turn this one around. Surprisingly, very surprisingly. Yeah, Turbo Drive, perfect. Lele survives. Lele survives. This is the turning point, guys. This is absolutely the turning point in the match. Well, the previous turn was. The previous turn was. Okay, so now I don't mind benching a bunch of stuff. I just need to get. Basically, uh, Ludicolo is ready to just revenge KO the Turtinator. Right? That's all I need to do. I have KO here. Is there any way for me to KO the Turtinator this turn? I need DC and Aqua Patch. So, probably not. So. Okay. Definitely using rescue stretcher for one lotad definitely benching this guy definitely using lele for a draw supporter 
that I don't have? Oh my gosh. Okay, judge it is then. Judge it is. Uh, the choice band. Uh, yeah, let's do the choice band. We're just trying to thin here. We are just heavily thinning. Whatever I get doesn't matter because we're gonna judge. We get four cards and we get one more. Ooh, very nice. Oh boy. Okay, so Akabach is very cool. If my opponent has Guzma and KOs a Ludicolo, I need Lele to be able to get a KO. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140, 170, not enough. Not enough. I don't have any more Cynthia's or Lilies left. Oh, my Lily is prized. So what do I even get then? I mean, I'm gonna get two prizes, so I could in fact get the Lily. I could in fact... Oh, Shrine of Punishment. Shrine of Punishment is what I get. Because Shrine of Punishment... Oh, then I should not have played that choice band. Oh well. Shrine of Punishment will get that in closer range. And it can't load up twice. Oh, uh, no. Because then I lose the Lele myself. And if he KOs the other... Okay, so no, that was terrible. <laughs> that was the worst possible card to smooth over for. That was actually the worst possible card to smooth over. Rare Candy? Oh. No Lily. <laughs> that was literally the worst possible card to smooth over for. What is the best post rotation deck that I have tried so far? Definitely Zorak Macargo. Definitely Zorak Macargo. Lele, Lele, Guzma, Attach, KO, Luricolo? Is that gonna be the play? Yeah, that has to be the play, right? No Guzma's played yet. Ugh. That was actually the worst possible card to get. Oh my gosh. That was so bad. Okay, at least I got Nice Roll though. Oh, oh, the Choice Man. I should not have played the Choice Man either. Okay, the DT is okay for me. That was such a bad smooth over. <laughs> that was such a bad smooth over. It's fine. Uh, does this help? No. If I had a Ludicolo, that would be game. So that's my play, right? That is 100% my play. I'm gonna damage the turret. And I'm going to smooth over for a Ludicolo. As long as I get that Ludicolo, I am good here. Because then I can Lele Guzman and then pursue this or just KO whatever. And I save this for whichever load that survives. Oh, I didn't attack. Jesus. <laughs> I'm thinking too far ahead. I forgot to click energy drive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. It generally won't matter. <laughs> it generally won't matter. Generally won't matter. The damage on the Turtonator doesn't matter. It's weak to water. And even if it wasn't, Shrine of Punishment plus full benches is 190, so it's all good. It's all good. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can't click done in real life though, so I would not have made that mistake in real life. I would not have made that mistake in real life. DC, that's fine. That's game. There we go. Whew. That was that was intense. That was very intense. That was very, very intense. Okay, perfect. So aqua patch, beautiful aqua patch. Don't click on Lota Palo, please. Let's do that. Let's do that. And we could even smooth over for a choice band and deal 1 million damage to the Turtonator, but <laughs> thanks so much for the game, Jay and Bergman. Your deck worked out really nicely. Really, really nicely. Circular steps for 360 damage. Oof. 
That was insane. That was a really good match. That was a really, really good match. Okay, so no Busco, so it's not your turn. I need to delete someone. Yeah, if I'm deleting you and you're watching this, don't be offended. I, I'm just deleting people randomly. Um, so text lender, please send me a challenge. I mean, please send me a friend request now. Yeah, please send me a friend request. I don't know what's the best way to get tickets on PTTGO. As you can see, I have 822 <laughs> because I can't use them. I mean, I could, but I don't use them. Um, so text lender, I assume that's you. There you go. And so, are you ready to face off against Ludi Argo? Oof. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. So we're both sending the challenge at the same time. Uh, that's my in-game name, Busha. You are up after text lender. And ups, how do you challenge me? Um, so there's a waiting list. Yeah, there's a waiting list. Um, right now we're uh, pretty much full. And Jet Gaming, thanks so much for the follow. Uh, we are pretty much full up to this point. So uh, all you need to do is say you want to battle me in the chat, then you get added to the waiting list. And if you are a subscriber, you get. If you are a subscriber on Twitch, you get um, priority. Yeah, like Text Lender. Um, he subscribed right um, right now, basically, and so he started getting he got priority when um, when sending a challenge. And then if you're not, then you're just on the regular waiting list, and um, and then we see what happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been streaming for a little over two hours, so that's why the list is a bit fuller. I think my low touch should be safe, my slogma should be safe. I assume this is zero garb, so I will just pass. <laughs> yeah, but next Friday should be viewer battles again, and so I'll be happy to play against you guys. I'll be very happy to play against you guys. There's a zero um, there's an ultra wall for Lele for fan club. Oh boy, that's harsh. That is very harsh. Power Blast. That's a very harsh ult level. Discard an energy, okay. And there we see the Cynthia. That was a very harsh ult level for my opponent right there. Okay. And then pass her Rooney. So Let's do this and play the old tails. Let's evolve the Lombre. And I think we just Cynthia here. Uh, I don't want to ambush here. Oh, this is so bad. This deck can be so bad sometimes. But if I don't attach, then I definitely can't attack. So I have to risk it and then might as well ambush. <laughs> My opponent needs energy Zark because apparently this retreats for one energy, not two, which we just found out today. Enhanced Hammer, what is better, Apricorn Maker or Fan Club? Both are good. Apricorn Maker is better if you're trying to thin your deck. Fan Club is better if you're trying to. Oh boy, what a hand. Apricorn, <laughs> what? <laughs> Apricorn Maker is better if you want to thin. Fan Club is better if you're worried about um, trash launch. Yeah, that's why you. That's why you refuse to play Timer Ball. I mean, <laughs> unfortunately, there aren't much better options in the current format. Um, Altar of the Moon, very interesting addition to the list. And Mancha, thank you so much for the bits. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. You like using Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Ninetales in this deck more than Lele. I have Alolan Vulpix. I also have Alolan Vulpix in the deck. Um, it just didn't pop up early on. Like, I could get it right now. I think it's better to grab a Lotad. Um, I can pressure here with my Lele onto his Orc. 
and very nicely get that very candy Ludi Colo going. And then we swing dance. And we get a lily and then we energy drive for some damage. So yeah, Romeo, like it it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're worried about treasure lunch, Fanquil is better. If you just wanna thin your deck and set up as fast as possible. Reduce the amount of cards that are in your deck, then Apricorn Maker is better. Apricorn Maker also gives you flexibility later in the game where you can find Timer Ball, Ultra Ball, etc. And wow, this is Zoro Banet. This is in fact Zoro Banet. I like the stadium now a lot more. Simply because um, possible multi switch plays. I don't think you need Deoxys. Deoxys seems like overdoing it. Like, why do you need the Psychic type attacker if you already have the Banet GX for the Psychic type? Um, I think the Deoxys is a little overdoing it. It is a non GX, that, that's what it has going for it. There's the energy. The big deal with Banet against us is that Banet can one shot Ludicolo, whereas Zora can't. Uh, without help from something like Banette or Professor Kukui, but Banette can, after there's 10 supporters in the discard pile, Banette can KO it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's a Raichis. Okay. So, I might want to pursue the Shuppet. That might be my play to pursue the Shuppet. I am losing a bunch of energy though. I think I should go after the Shuppet. Because Zorgs are not that scary. Right? You're not that, that scary. I'm gonna go Apricorn Maker for next turn, potentially get another Ludicolo and a Macargo. And I get a prize here at least. Using one Swing Dance it feels very underwhelming. It's half a trade. Oh, Macargo, very nice. Now we're talking. Uh, Spoonsauce would love some Gardevoir action. We played Gardevoir not yesterday, two days ago. The Gardevoir video is coming out very soon on youtube.com slash table1 if you want to check that out. Um, you can find it there. There's another Shop It. Zone Zone? <laughs> you mean Magnus Zone, Travis? Acer roll on. That makes sense to an extent. If only I had a water energy to discard off. Is there any way I can one shot Zorg next turn? Maybe. <laughs> You're in the zone playing Magnet Zone. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. So, my opponent doing a few things out of order. Um, retreating first and trading, using Acerola. I don't know if he traded first and then Acerola. And Hands Hammer, very annoying. And Riot, she's beating. Okay, so we get another DCE. We do have this. So, okay. I have to give up on the Lilies, I feel. Right? Well, maybe I can save one of them. So I grab a Cirola. Yeah. I'll save this one. I'll just swing with this one and set up this guy. So, energy here. So, yes, I lose one Lele, but that's fine. Because afterwards, it's no more GX this time. And all I need is a water energy, which I can guarantee with Ludicolo. The big, big issue is that Banette. That right there is the big issue. That and the fact that that is how all of our DTs that are available in the deck. All of the DTs that are available in the deck are now completely gone. So maybe what I can do... Oh, I can't. I'm 10 damage short. I'm 20 damage short right now of KOing the Banette. 
but definitely KOing Banette is the most appealing thing. I'm 30 damage short. I need a water and a choice band. Top decking, either of those cards would be amazing. Because then I can search for the other one. Gizor doesn't scare me, but Banette does. Banette definitely scares me. Okay, so we lose the Banette. I mean, the, the Lele. That's okay. So if my plan is to Guzma, can I pull it off though? Or do I just judge? Yeah. But I think this is better to an extent. Okay. That was not enough, right? So let's. I'm gonna smooth over for another looting. No, I'm gonna get the grass. I mean, not the grass, the water. I have two water sprites, I can't whiff. I can't keep whiffing that. I definitely can't keep whiffing that. And then my opponent has gone through one rainbow one, and two psych. Oh, two psychics and two rainbow. But then he must have a bunch of them though. So 70, 80, 90, plus 60, that's 150. So I have more than enough to KO, right? I'm gonna judge my opponent. It's not as devastating as an N, but it's almost like one. And then, ugh. I mean, I can recover, perhaps. But if my little Dicolo goes down, then I am done for, pretty much. If my little Dicolo goes down, I am pretty much dead. Because, yeah. Because I can't attack next turn. I've gone through all of my DCEs. Uh, Romeo, Ludicargo fue un deck en el 2005 y 2006. Ludicargo was, a, was an archetype back in 2005 and 2006. That is a crazy long time. <laughs> yeah. Ability, there's the rainbow. Why not? Why not attach the rainbow and move the damage from the planet? That was an odd way to go about it. Yeah, but we're done here. No more DCEs means we're done. The early game was just brutal to us. And that's the issue with this deck. Like, if they don't pressure you, then sure, you set up your Lady Golos, you set up your Macargos, and you're good to go. But if they do pressure you, then you're completely out of luck. Wait, what? What? What just happened there? I can draw pass. I'll draw pass and just attack and KO. So, gentlemen's. I mean, I get extra damage on the Banet, but I don't think that matters. This is a gentleman's pass. Uh, Gene, you use one type of Goku on your build for the free retreat. Yeah, one type of Goku actually makes sense. Wait, what? Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. Seven, eight, nine. Oh. Wow. Okay, that gives us, that means we are in this. That absolutely means we are in this. The damage is not relevant because we would have KO'd the Banette anyways. I can't believe my opponent didn't have KO right there. And Panda, thank you so much. You also use two team reporters plus Lilies. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, this is the first time I've ever played Ludi Cargo. Um, so there's probably a lot of things that can be made better. Okay, that's nice. Let's... Yeah, let's bench all of those. And then... Yeah, we attach here, and then we lose that, we recover it, we search for another one, we Guzma, take a KO. Right? Yeah. Stretcher... Back a Lotad. 
no reason not to. And then that other stretcher can be Lele to find a draw supporter if we need one. So wow, being 10 damage short ended up mattering so much. So, so much. 210, it had 50, so... I don't know, like the extra damage from Shrine of Punishment might have mattered now, right? He had 5, I had 5, that's 170 plus Shrine 180. Um, going into my turn, yeah, we would have dealt 180 exactly, so it would not have mattered. It would not have mattered. And I think that's gonna be it. I believe that is going to be it for us. We're gonna get a win with Ludi Coloma Cargo because my opponent was 10 damage short from KOing the Ludi Colo. Purely because of that. Purely, purely because of that. My opponent needs to uh, judge me here. And Fan Club is not judge. So that is the game. Whew. That was actually insanely close. Only because my opponent didn't get that 10 support during the discard pile though. Purely because of that. So I will smooth over for the missing energy. It did have a bunch of energy cards though. That hurt me a bit. Wait, if there's... Wait, how many energy are in the deck? Two. Okay, so yeah, my last price is an energy. 100% my last price is an energy. And Sackbird, we've been online for two and a half hours so far. Two and a half hours. I don't know how people are online sometimes, like four hours, five hours, the 24 hour marathons. I have no idea. But GG Textlender, thanks so much for the game. And Busha, you are up next. So if you are ready, please send me either a friend request, there you are, or a challenge. And I think Busha is going to be the last person today. Yeah, that was very close, Tex Lender. You were 10 damage short from the KO. That that changed the whole game. If you had KO Tadlur Colo, you would have won right there. Yeah. You went six last night? Jeez, I don't think I've ever done six in a row. Would I like to go first? Yes. I don't think I've ever done... Like, I don't think I could do six in a row of PTTGO only. I would get so tired. I was thinking of doing the Nuzlocke today, but then I had some last minute coaching in the morning, and so that took away time from the stream. Um, and yeah, like I have to give priority to coaching. I can't... I can't not do coaching. Maybe someday when... I can make the same the same amount of money when I'm doing one hour of streaming than when I do one hour of coaching. Maybe um, maybe then I'll I'll prioritize streams. Okay. I mean using Magmaring on Tapu Coco is not terrible. And this is Zoropod for sure. You mean really hard with all the decks you play, Travis. <laughs> nice. You would like Garbodor, Banette, and Zorark. Yeah, that, that seems good. Banette is a really cool card. I wish it wasn't weak to dark. If Banette wasn't weak to dark, phew, I would be playing it all the time. Oh, it's Zoro the CGI. Interesting. What if we call it weak to lightning? Okay, so we're good. Oh, but the feather arrows are annoying. The Feather Arrows, ooh, thank you so much, Apricorn Maker. The Feather Arrows are super annoying. We are going to do that for one low tab. Okay, so do I get an Alolan Bolt Fix here? I feel like I don't. I feel like I just go double low tab here. I'm mean, gonna evolve this guy. <laughs> Magma Ring the Tapu Koko would be pretty funny, but I don't think that's the right play. You know what? I'm gonna go Rare Candy and next turn double Rare Candy double Macargo. I mean double Luricolo. 
Let's go. Let's go. Double Oikolo, double Macargo. No GX is necessary. Who needs that? Please don't KO my low dad. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. <laughs> please, please. Discord's a goof, huh? Uh, get to the city wide. Where it can be, that's fine. Oh, it's not fine, but what are we gonna do? Cyclone verdict on fan club versus Abricorn. Oh no! <laughs> Our busted hand. <laughs> no, that's so mean. That was actually so mean. No! <laughs> um, fan club you use when you wanna prevent item cards in the discard pile for trash challenge. You use fan club because it gives you versatility to grab a Lele for the next turn. Uh, you can use something like Artena. Um, I think fan club and Apricorn Maker, they're both very good. I think using a mix of both is the right way to go about it. Yeah, uh, and Apricorn Maker is really good in anything that's not Zork or in, well, in a lot of decks rather. It's really good in a lot of decks, but mostly in decks that um, do not require, I think I smooth over for our candy, right? Or a Lombre. Lombre guarantees this guy survives. So we'll go the safe route. Um, I think you use Apricorn Maker in decks that you don't want to, um, ugh. that you don't want to, um, or rather in Zorak decks, in not Zorak decks, in which you want to thin quite a bit. So something like Ludicolo, right? Something like, um, something like, uh, Metagross, something like Guardi, yeah? Like both are very good. The the flexibility that Apricorn gives you to find Ultra Balls and Timer Balls is definitely uh, a considerable option or something to take into account rather. Um, I think Zorak decks can use both. non Zorak decks probably want Apricorn Maker. Those are my thoughts so far at least. Those are my thoughts so far on the two cards. Okay. Uh, we've been like we've been setting up, but it's also been a bit slow. That hand before the judge, that was gonna be so good. <laughs> that was actually going to be so good. Please don't spread here. Please don't spread. Apricorn, Apricorn feels better. Yes, if Garbodor isn't too popular, but. Zora Garbodor just won worlds, right? So that could have an impact. That could have an impact. Like Zora Garb just won worlds, Zora Garb is really good. Jeez, my phone never wants to charge on this computer. Oh well. Yeah, the versatility does go a long way. I think if you if you're confident and not overplaying item cards, then Apricorn is probably better. And it seems like it's more about the CJ deck with a little bit of Zorak support here. Uh, next fear battle, I do fear battles on Friday, Tech Slender. Okay, I don't mind this. This saves me the need to find Kuzmas. This saves me the need to find Kuzmas, and if I can get the KO here because my opponent has a full bench, I am golden. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. So full bench, I need Ludicolo, Water, Choice Band, right? And a basic, so I'm actually gonna do this. And then, I mean, I have a lot of outs. Ludicolo, Water, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So broken. Smooth over, choice band. Is Ludicolo, is Ludicargo good, guys? <laughs> I mean, there might be a better way to try and set up Ludicargo. Like, to try and set up the deck. Now, do I play the Shrine of Punishment? I think I do, right? 
and this is 210. Yeah, let's do Shrine of Punishment. I want the damage for the, the CDI. I want to pursue the CDIs because that's probably like if my opponent wants to leave that in the active to stall. If this takes for one turn, then he can't. He doesn't have that option anymore. So I don't mind hitting my own Lele. He can fed our my Lele all he wants. We set up and we only lost one price card. That is huge. That is huge. So yeah, text lender. Viewer battles are on Fridays. Viewer battles are on Fridays. And this week has been interesting uh, in terms of streaming and whatnot. Definitely, like a lot of people watching the stream is very motivating to keep streaming. Um, seeing the cup filled like that is also very motivating. So thank you guys so much. Basically, now that I live off of Pokemon, I rely 100% on your guys' support to keep doing this. Like, if people stop looking for me for coaching, then I go bankrupt, right? Or if people stop watching my streams, um, I go bankrupt. So I really appreciate the support, guys. I really appreciate the support. I can do what I can do because of you guys. Um, my opponent just benched that Zerua, right? So he can't... He doesn't have... Zorak DC KO on my Ludicolo. Oh, but he does have knockout on my poor, poor Lotad. That's okay, though. That's okay. That is a okay. Maybe I go after the Zorua here. No, I go after whatever he attaches energy to. But I do. Well, that's the thing, though. I need a backup Ludicolo. I need a backup Ludicolo. Metagross is a tough matchup, Gene. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. <laughs> Metagross being a tough matchup for this makes a lot of sense. Okay, I mean, even if he has Zorak, there's no guarantee that he will have the DC, correct? Correct. So I'm definitely benching this guy. I'm definitely attaching energy here. And then it comes down to, I go for a Lombre, right? I go for a Lombre Evolve. Or do I go Cynthia and just get a KO on the Coco? That feels a little bit more reliable. How greedy am I? Yeah, I have to go Cynthia. Because if I Goose, I also lose the energy. So I have to go Cynthia. Okay, perfect. Let's do a timer ball. Beautiful. That was a beautiful hand to get. I think this should set me up very nicely for the later game so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna smooth over once for a rare candy that will set up my second ludicolo right i will swing dance and then i will smooth over swing dance again if you only have one pokemon available why does it make you click and then smooth over For DC, right? DC is what I'm missing to get a KO, a return KO on the Zorg. So I'm pretty happy with doing that. And then Swing Dance, even if I can't play it this turn. And then Circular Steps. There was an argument to maybe getting a Rare Candy and then getting another Ludicolo next turn. But that's okay. I think we're good here. I think we have this game locked up. Ludicargo, guys. Ludicargo. Is it good? I want to try Swampert as well. And I want to try Empoleon too. I feel like Empoleon is probably going to be worse than Ludicolo. If you play Empoleon, you have to play Zork with it. Ludicolo Makargo does have the non-GX appeal as well, which is awesome. Right? Um, yeah, there's no humanly possible way to one hit KO and Metagross and Macargo just sucks at it. <laughs> uh, Mallow, oof, Mallow means triple feather arrow, which means goodbye Lotad. Goodbye Lotad KO Ludicolo. I'm sure he's gonna Mallow for DC Rare Candy or we're gonna see that. And then we're gonna see triple feather arrow on the Lotad and KO the Ludicolo. But then my last Ludicolo should be able to sweep him. My last Ludicolo should be able to sweep him and I can judge him as well. I can judge him as well. You feel like judge is going to be a staple? Yes, 
I agree. Judge is really, really good. Judge is really, really, really good. Yeah, DC, that's a knockout on Ludicolo. And then Triple Feather Arrow the low tat that puts him at two prices. But there's no way he can KO my Lele. There's absolutely no way he can KO my Lele. And yeah, the CG, I, I do like the idea of the CGI. I do like the idea behind the CGI GX. And I feel like the CGI GX is much better than Grand Ninja GX. Because using, using Feather Arrow three times already means you are better than... Um, you are better off than... Um, than using a whole Grand Ninja GX line. And then any Feather Arrow after that just means um, it's much, much better. Yeah. Um, okay, so this and this is required. Six, seven, eight, nine, plus seven, that's 160, 190, 200, that's KO. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, plus seven, 16, plus three, 19. Okay, so I have KO already. I have KO already. And Ludicolo is safe, right? Ludicolo is completely safe. I don't think I even bench the full picks. <laughs> Someone get Rukan in here. What is Rukan saying? Travis. That Greninja GX is better than the CGI? I mean, it's simple maths, right? It's simple maths. The trade off of the damage from the Frogat here is way better. Right? The trade off, like. Yeah, no, there's no way. I mean... So, do I... I... It feels like I'm doing the math wrong. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure, right? Just gonna make sure. Um, smooth over. I'm gonna put an energy at the top. That's all I need to make sure that I can... Um, lose my retreat KO. Whatever I want. On my opponent's bench. So, circular steps should be more than enough. 200 damage exactly, yep. Yeah. So, I was right on the mats, but... Lele DC can mess me up if they get it. How, though? Is Lodicaro a real thing? Maybe I'll be used to maybe. Lele DC can mess me up here. How, though? KO? No, Lele. How does Lele KO the Ludi? It deals 100 damage. Oh, right. Oh, duh. <laughs> Feather Arrow. Right. Feather Arrow. Feather Arrow. Duh. I completely, completely forgot about that. Switch. I generally completely forgot about that. <laughs> I generally completely forgot about that. Wow. Oopsies. How many DCs though left? Two. Wow, yeah, I completely forgot Feather Arrow plus DC could ruin me. I did not see that. Rip DC, but seems like we're good. Was there a way to play that better? I, okay, yeah. I should have gotten a stretcher and set up a low tide. To kind of threaten, maybe. Because if I do that... If I do that... Yeah, so I should have put the DC. I should have put the DC on top. Um, yeah, if I if I grab the stretcher for low tide, then I have a chance to attack. Um, if he triple feather arrows the Lele, I mean the low tide, then he's not KOing. The Ludicolo, so he has to do that, so the low tide guaranteed survives. But if the low tide doesn't immediately evolve, then I lose the next turn guaranteed. So it was a weird end game. It was a weird end game. Thank you so much, Bushia, yeah, for the for the game. That was really fun. That was really close. I'm pretty sure you had me if you had the DC. Pretty sure you had me. 
And yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be all for today. It's been really, really fun. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, all the support. Um, I'm planning on moving houses soon, so that might put a dent on my streaming plans. I'm not a fan of that happening, but can't help it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, thank you, Travis. It was really fun to play against you guys. Different style of video if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, Friday are viewer battles. Um, subscribers on Twitch get preference. So hopefully a little encouragement for you guys to subscribe. Um, we're gunning for 100 subscribers in the month of September. So if you're having any doubts in subscribing, September would be the month to do it. You support the channel and we'll have some sort of surprise if we get to 100 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Enjoy your... Uh, day and your your weekend if you have challenges cups um, Best of luck to everyone who's playing this weekend. I'm not my next tournament is feeling regionals um, So I'm prepping or I'm gonna be preparing for that and I will see you guys on Monday again Yeah to hang out to play more and um, Everything else thank you guys so much and until next time bye